Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. I'll say now what I said in quite a few of my other videos. Colonizing the moon may not just be a scientific curiosity or even a uh, better advancement, it's a necessity. If we are to survive in the human race, not only um, as one of the uh, as the head of NASA pointed out, um, we could mine on the moon in order to survive. We can also do that on the asteroid belt. We have the technology. We have um, we have had it for some time now, and the thing is that if we do if we attempt to stay on Earth forever, we will run out of industrial society. There are enough minerals, not just on the moon, but in um, but in the asteroid belt and elsewhere to help us survive. Um, not only colonizing the moon and creating water and oxygen and the like will also, um, you know, this will uh, be a very basic uh, help, um, you know, to help uh, people develop their own, uh, you know, their own uh, self um, self enclosed colonies. Uh, but there is another um, technology piece that NASA should probably implement, and um, I'll be uh, and hopefully we will be start petitioning for once the uh, first colony is actually established, and that is the design on. Both uh, the Mars, uh, both the Moon and Earth, of rail guns, um, magnetic uh, acceleration um, guns, uh, as alternatives to rocketry, um, at least for cargo, at the very least, because you know we should not be having to constantly send up um, new equipment and the like, um, you know, or new uh, craft from here to Mars or what have you, um, with constant rocketry, when there are more efficient ways, um, you know, energy-wise, that might work longer term. Um, as well, uh, it's also been stated about uh, solar panels and geostationary orbit and the like, that um, the energy that we can bring back for the entire human race is um, virtually limitless. Um, again, the, site, the sources are all on the site in the, um, the, the sources and the references are all in the uh, blog over here. Um, for people who normally watch and subscribe to my videos, I strongly watch. Uh, I strongly wa uh, recommend watching the video I'm replying to, uh, "Colonizing the Moon." Watch every other NASA piece. Um, look at Gerard K. O'Neill's work, um, and look at the work of many of the other scientists and uh, theoreticians, and uh, and actual you know hard researchers who've been working on this for the better part of several decades now. We have the technology. We have the capability. Um, it's just only the U.S. seems to be the uh, U the U.S. seems to be the only ones who are even considering this as a, in a possibility of implementation. And um, NASA is making it a priority, but I think we need to give them more funding, and we need to uh, cut back the time even further from 2017. The sooner that we have the moon colonized, the sooner we can uh, start shooting. Uh, the sooner we can start sending ships out to the asteroid belt. I um, they're talking about the first uh, uh, trip back to the moon by 2017. Um, for myself, I'd like to see the first. Um, I'd like to see the first trip out by 2015 and the first colony up by 2017, um, with hopefully our first mo lunar col uh, our first um, trip out to Mars or to the asteroid belt out about out about the same year. So, um, you know, we need to make this a higher priority. We need to flush NASA with money, and we need to flush um, other governments. We need to get their space programs up and running again, um, and f uh, you know, flushing them with money, working. Um, you know, as much of the engineering as possible and as soon as possible on this. Um, the sooner we've got the uh, presence out in the solar system, uh, the better. And to that physicist who said robotic satellites are doing so well that we don't need to send man crews, robotics do well for research, but human crews do a lot better at mining and processing industrial materials to help the rest of us humans survive. Just a little thought, huh? Anyway, um, I'm a cosmocrat. I've always been so. I think I've put. I think I've pretty well put my position on this. If we don't colonize the solar system, we die. If we don't leave her at planet Earth, game over. See ya.